of the day. It is October, and in October we are having pumpkin month. It is pumpkin month here on recipe of the day. Pumpkin month. So in honor of pumpkin month, I have a special little costume. I'm going to put on here my pumpkins. Whoops. Get it on there. Here we go. I got my pumpkins on. So we can get started here. We are making a yummy, delicious pumpkin recipe today. And we are going to be making a pumpkin tiramisu today. Pumpkin tiramisu. How delicious does that sound? And we are also going to be making another pumpkin cocktail to help kick off the holiday season with some new ideas for pumpkin cocktails. So we are going to be making a cocktail and tiramisu. So I'm going to get you guys pulled up here and we will get started. Okay, there we go. Hey Jill, how are you? I uh, had a great time in DC. Talk about that in a, in a minute, but I'm going to get started here. So our pumpkin tiramisu, have any of you guys ever made tiramisu? Oh good, <laughs> neither have I. So let's get started. I've got a um, coffee I just brewed here, a cup of coffee. So it's going in here in our pan. And I'm going to put that in. We're making the dipping sauce for our lady fingers. To that I'm going to add about two-thirds of a cup of sugar and let that get dissolved. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water. And then I'm going to add doo -doo -doo, about three-quarters of a cup of Kahlua. This recipe I'll post below, it actually calls for Frangelico, but I didn't have any. So you know what we do here at when we're COVID cooking, we use what we have. And I had um, Kahlua, so here we go, in with the Kahlua and a little bit of water. And we're going to let that just warm up a little bit till the sugar dissolves. And that is going to be our dipping liquid for our lady fingers. So how are my people today? Hey, Erin, how are you? Oh, good. Ron is in the airport. How are you, girl? Glad you have nothing else to do but sit in the airport and watch me make pumpkin tiramisu. So while our liquid here is... Um, getting warmed up and our sugar is dissolving, I'm going to start with our filling. So for our filling that goes in between the lady fingers on this, I mean, yeah, seriously, the reviews on this recipe said that, um, several of them said it's our go-to holiday recipe now. Like instead of pumpkin pie, instead of traditional holiday um, desserts. So I thought, oh my goodness, I mean, nothing would replace pumpkin pie around here. <laughs> Pumpkin pie family favorite, and since my son's birthday is Thanksgiving, he is a turkey baby, um, we have had pumpkin pie for his birthday cake on more than one occasion. Of course, we always have a donut cake too, but you know, when you only got one child, a child gets usually more than one party. <laughs> oh, one year, his birthday, well, it's been on a couple times now, but actually on Thanksgiving, and the first year it was on Thanksgiving, um, I got him that turkey uh, ice cream cake from 31 Flavors. Oh my gosh, it was hilarious. But they make an ice cream cake that's in the shape of a turkey, in case you were interested in that. Okay, so to our mascarpone. Now, mascarpone cheese is Italian cream cheese, but it just has a little bit more tang, um, and it's just delicious. So we're going to use, whoops, the Italian mascarpone cream cheese here. And to that I'm going to put three tablespoons of sugar in, and then about a cup here of our pumpkin. Of course, Trader Joe's came through on my case of pumpkin for pumpkin month. So it's just regular pumpkin. It's not uh, pumpkin pie fi uh, filling, just pumpkin. And how cute is that, that my measuring cup is orange? Because you know I planned that. <laughs> so we are going to mix that up here. Um, I'm going to put two. We made our pumpkin spice on the first pumpkin show. So to that, I'm going to put two teaspoons of our homemade pumpkin pie spice in here. So two teaspoons of that. Oh my gosh, yummy! This is going to be delish. Because, you know, pumpkin pie, I had all my statistics on how pumpkin spice becomes the thing, becomes the searchable thing. The searches for pumpkin spice go screaming up at the end of August. So here we are kicking off pumpkin month and the, and the October holiday and I was in Costco today and they are fully ready for Christmas. <laughs> I did however buy um, all regular size candy bars for trick or treating th uh, this year because um, 
You know, the kids have it hard enough. And so I have full size candy bars for Halloween this year. I bought plenty because we get a lot of trick or treaters here. Oh my gosh, how yummy does this look? Oh my gosh, delish! So I'm going to get this mixed up. And I smell my Kahlua back there cooking away. Oh, yum. This looks yummy. I don't want to beat the marshmallow too much. I just want to get it mixed in until I get throw in our whipped cream. And of course, there is no such thing as Cool Whip around here. I just made whipped cream while I was waiting for you guys. So you guys wouldn't have to listen to me make whipped cream. <laughs> so that is that on the filling. When I smell my, uh, my Kahlua back here. So let me just give it a tester here. Okay, make sure my sugar's getting mixed in. Yes, I think we're good. That is good. I'm going to pour that in here so it can cool a little bit while we finish this up because I'm going to dip all our lady fingers in our coffee mixture here. Oh my gosh. It smells so good like Kahlua and coffee on steroids because that's all it is. <laughs> Kahlua and coffee and some sugar and a little bit of water. So I just put it in a flat Pyrex there to um, cool off a little bit because I'm going to dip all these fingers in there. And to this, I'm going to add our whipped cream. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Yum. I'm going to save a little bit for garnish. And so I will fold the whipped cream in. Oh my goodness, to our mascarpone and pumpkin and a little bit of sugar. And I use less than what the recipe called for and less in the whipped cream too because I think it's going to be plenty sweet. Plenty sweet. Oh my goodness. This, we're definitely going to have to taste this. My finger's in here, but I can tell my mascarpone is stuck to my tool here. Let me get it off and then get it mixed in. Oh my goodness. And the whipped cream just lightens up this um, thicker mixture of the mascarpone and the pumpkin. But I can see why already that people think this is their go-to holiday dessert because it smells delicious and it just, I mean, pumpkin. I mean, come on. Everybody loves it. So our first recipe we made last week was savory. And this one's going to be sweet, but hold on, let me taste it before I make this whole thing see what it's going to be like. Whoops, hold on. Oh my goodness. Tastes just like pumpkin pie. Yum! It went off my hands. And let's get started. Let's get started with our dipping here. Now, because we're a little bit ahead of the lady finger curve here with holidays, um, move this over here. I couldn't find the crispy lady fingers today. So all I could find after three grocery stores was the homemade soft um, lady fi uh, fingers. So we will see how this is gonna be with soft ones because usually a lady finger is a, is a type of cookie, but they're crisp. And these are not crisp because they're fresh, they're soft. So, um, but it's all going to be good after it sits. This is going to sit in the fridge overnight. Um, it'll be delicious. But right now, let me pull this a little closer. Um, they are soft. But normally a lady finger cookie is crispy. So if you can find the, cr the crispy ones, and there is a brand they called out in the recipe, but that's not what I have. So like I said again, COVID cooking, we use what we got. Ooh, whoops, splat. So then I thought I might just lay these in, in the pan because they're soft. I think that's a good plan. And we will just put the coffee on them. Because if they're crispy, they would survive the dunk the dunking, but I'm not sure these are gonna survive the, the dunking. So for the first layer, because they're so soft, see these are real soft and spongy. It's a sponge-like cookie. The dry ones are usually what you use for this, but we use what we've got. We're winging it. So let's do a little row down here. And then I will just pour some, some, some coffee here and brush it on. And it's going to be delicious. Let's 
so yummy. Okay, so I'm going to take, uh, let's see, how about this for a tool? And I'm going to put some of our yummy coffee. It smells so good. And I'm just going to drip it on here. This is not the traditional Italian way, but it's the way when you're live <laughs> to go fast. So I'm just going to make sure that all these cookies are covered with the coffee mixture. And then we're going to put our first layer in here of our yummy pumpkin creamy yumminess. Yes, yum. Okay. Probably going to need my offset spatula to spread this, so let me grab it. And I'm going to make two layers of this. Let me grab my spatula here. It should be right here. Here it is at my fingertips. Offset spatula for spreading. And we're going to spread this layer of deliciousness in here. So again, another fairly easy and quick uh, dessert recipe for the holidays and something different. Because I'm always looking for something different. And I, I never had a pumpkin tiramisu, so here we go. Oh my gosh. You know, we were in Washington this, week, this weekend, and Washington, D.C. had a fabulous trip. My uncle was buried at Arlington National Cemetery on Friday with full military honors and it was incredible absolutely uh, amazingly incredible fabulous experience i'm so glad we got to be there and uh i also got to see my high school friends some of my high school friends are on here it was so fun and then my dear friend sheila who moved back east a few years ago and we miss her desperately so it was just win-win all the way around and one another thing that i learned i've heard about because you know i'm a cookie aficionado and there is a cookie store in New York called Levain, I pronounce it, and there's one in Georgetown and there was a line a block long every time we went by and not only that it was like two blocks long at one point we went by because I'm like hey any cookie store with a line out the door and down the block I just have to go so on the fourth try on our last day my sister went with me. We stood in the line, and oh my goodness, I should have taken some pictures. They're like bigger than a biscuit, bigger than a hockey puck, these cookies. And they were, of course, you know, delicious. But I just couldn't believe everyone was standing in line. So that was really fun. We had so much fun. Went down to the mall, went to the, down to the Washington Monument. It was a blast. Beautiful fall weather in D.C., because I grew up there. For those that don't know, I grew up there. And it was just beautiful. Drove by several of our old houses that we used to live in. That was fun. So we had a wonderful time. The leaves weren't quite changing yet, but they will be very soon. Okay, this layer, I think I will take the brush because I don't think if I dump coffee on these, it's going to quite, it's going to get into our um, pumpkin layer. So I will do this gracefully and just brush some coffee on these so that we have our coffee flavor in this layer. Oh my gosh, yum! So I can tell if we'd had a dry cookie for this, we would have used more of this liquid, but hey, we got Kahlua and coffee re uh, ready to go here. <laughs> oh my goodness, yum! I didn't see my comments. Anyone make tiramisu before? Any of my people? How my Instagrammers? Hey Instagrammers, what's happening? Mo, is that you? I can almost see your name. A little too far away to read. Oh my goodness, this just looks delicious. Smells delicious, looks delicious. Oh my gosh, yum. I am not an artist. But this is as close as you're going to get with me and art and a paintbrush. <laughs> me and a pastry brush. Silicone pa uh, pastry brush. Maybe a paintbrush to paint the wall. But not really to paint a picture. Okay, there's our middle layer of deliciousness there. And let's put another layer of our pumpkin cream. Oh my gosh. This looks delish. Let's 
So we are going to use up this middle. Use it all up here. So depending on what size pan you use, you'll have more or less layers and what size your cookies are. But this is how I'm doing it. Trying to do it quick for you guys. Because this is going to be yummy. Spread our yummy creaminess around here. Yes! Oh my goodness. Yum! If you have any favorite pumpkin recipes that you want me to make th this month, send them. I've had so much fun collecting ideas for pumpkin October recipes. Yummy. Oh, whoops. Spread this out. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to be delicious. And I haven't even gotten it finished yet, and I can tell. Okay, so I'm going to have to spread this around so it covers. Now I'm going to set this in the refrigerator overnight. And then before I serve it, I will take some sugar and some cinnamon and sprinkle it over the top. So it has a nice little top. And another idea I saw in the comments of this recipe was to sprinkle some nuts on top so it has a little bit of crunch. And I thought that was a great idea too, um, to sprinkle some nuts on there so you have a little bit of crunch. So maybe I will um, toast up some pecans and sprinkle them on top because that would be yummy too. Okay, there we go. How delicious does that look? Our pumpkin tiramisu ready for the fridge. You can't really see the layers, but you know they're in there. Delish! And then in honor of our pumpkin month, I'm going to make a cocktail here. Another cocktail. I've had so much fun in Bevmo, etc., finding all these alcohols I've never tasted. And dump out my water there. Okay, so this one is a rum chata pumpkin pie martini. Rum chata pumpkin pie martini. So let's get started. One of the reasons I went in now, I didn't need to buy all these big bottles of all this stuff because I can't imagine unless we have a party that we end up having a, a Halloween party, which I'm not opposed to. We'll see how the everything goes. But rum chata comes in coffee creamer size. Like, who knew that? So I thought, well, how great is that? So you want to have your morning rum chata and coffee. For those of you that are staying home and working from home or homeschooling from home, you just might need to have a little rum chata in your coffee. <laughs> Cracked me up. So they come in these little packages. So I'm going to use here two of these rum chata coffee creamers. And honestly, I don't know what rum chata e even tastes like, but I will know in a minute here. But it's some kind of a creamy rum. So I put two rum chata coffee cre creamers in the shaker. And I'm going to use, um, that's two parts of that, one part of, this is Stoli Vanilla Vodka. I just bought a baby one. So we're going to actually, we'll just use this to measure. So we have two parts rum chata, one part vanilla vodka, and then we're going to use one part of our pumpkin liqueur that I had to order special and go get it because I couldn't find it. So for you people in Ventura, they ordered this for me at Wine Castle over by Winco, and he got a couple more. So if anyone wants to make some of these pumpkin uh, cocktails I'm going to make th this month, several of them call for this pumpkin liqueur. So that's going in, one part that. And then it called for a little bit of cream and a little bit of milk, but I'm just going to use a little bit of half and half. So pour a little half and half in there. And then we're going to give it a shake and see what this rum chata pumpkin pie martini ends up tasting like. <laughs> so let's see, shake, shake, shake. Now I could do a rim, uh, I could do a sugar rim on this, I could do a pumpkin spot, pumpkin pie spice rim on this, I could do a cinnamon rim on this if you wanted to, all kinds of things. So we're just gonna shake this up. Because when's the last time you had a pumpkin pie martini? Oh, let's see. Right now. Okay. Nice and cold. I can feel it. Oh, my gosh. So what color it's going to be. Beautiful. How's that? Rum chata, pumpkin pie, martini. Celebrating pumpkin month here at Recipe of the Day. So, oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what rum chata tastes like, huh? 
Cheers for the color. Oh my goodness. Pretty much tastes like pumpkin pie in a glass. Actually might taste even better than pumpkin pie. Oh my gosh. That is really good. So I'm happy so far with the cocktail recipes I've picked. They're delicious. That would be a great thing too to serve as dessert at a party, party of adults, because um, it's delicious and look how pretty it is. So in honor today to our birthday shout out, so let me grab my birthday shout out hat, hold on. It is very special birthdays today. Today, I'm gonna take off my pumpkins for my birthday shout outs. It is birthday shout outs to my dad. Happy birthday, dad. Um, and my brother, they're born on the same day. Of course, which one was born first? Oh, my dad. My brother was born on my dad's birthday. So happy birthday to my dad and my brother, which I just saw my, bro my brother this weekend in DC. We had a great time. So happy birthday to my two favorite ward men. Um, and hope you're having fun today. And I know my brother's playing golf today, so that's good. So happy birthday to you guys. And then yesterday was Sharon Rhodes. Happy birthday to you, Sharon. Happy birthday yesterday. And then Friday, we have Jenny Turner. Happy birthday to you. She is a great realtor in the Portland area, and she is having a Make-A-Wish Foundation fundraiser for her birthday on Friday. So you can find her, Jenny Turner. Her company's name is Lovejoy. And as you know, my nephew Spencer was a recipient of a Make-A-Wish um, Foundation gift. So we are love Make-A-Wish Foundation. So if you want to support Jenny and her fundraiser for Make-A-Wish in Oregon, that would be awesome. Um, and then I have a couple. Today is Pumpkin Seed Day, which I thought was kind of cool because I'm doing Pumpkin Month. And it is Walk to School Day. Oh, wait, except this year, not in California. We're not walking to, to school because we don't get to go to school. Um, and it is coffee with a cock day today. So I thought, well, how perfect is that? We're making a coffee dessert, but take your favorite cop to coffee or drop off coffee cards. I know I have a dear friend who dropped off a whole stack of coffee cards to the Camarillo um, police station as a thank you for all the hard work that they do for us. So that's another idea. If you um, want to drop off coffee cards, I know they would appreciate it. And then um, it's chocolate covered pretzel day. And on that note, I wanted to show something here that I found these pretzels at Trader Joe's that are pumpkin spice pretzels. I mean, how yummy. They will put pumpkin spice on anything and it is all delicious. Yeah, thanks Rhonda. I know, happy birthday to, to them. So hope you're having a wonderful October 7th. Um, always a big day around our house. And remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best. And you can find, I will put the recipes here on Facebook. I will also put them on our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate. And remember, we do uh, real estate, so you can visit us at GaryAndLisa.com. And we are always, always, always happy for your referrals. And our giveaway today, if you have liked or commented on these videos, the giveaway today is this totally cute, happy Halloween apron that I'm wearing today. I am modeling and I have two of those today for our giveaway. So who is feeling lucky today and ready for their Halloween apron? While you can wear it while you make your pumpkin tiramisu. <laughs> so let's see who's feeling it today. Do, 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 do. And it is, I can get one in my hand. It is Megan LeBlanc, my friend Megan. How is New Jersey today? I will be sending you an apron, girly. You, you and I will have to be doing, um, do some kind of a show together or else you're just gonna have to come here to be on the show, Meeks. Oh my gosh, oh, you're welcome. Catherine was my winner in Texas. I mailed her her prize. So she got her prize in the mail the other day. And Marilyn Boudreaux, my favorite person who dresses up. Marilyn is in Southwest Louisiana. She's a great realtor in Lake Charles. She's a high school classmate of Gary's and she's amazing. And so they need help in Southwest Louisiana and I understand they're gonna get hit again, um, but their town was just devastated a few weeks ago. 
So I'll be happy to send this to you, Marilyn, because I know you will wear it because she is just the cutest. So happy October 7th to everyone. Thank you guys for watching. We love seeing you here Wednesdays and Saturdays live at 3 o'clock. And we will bring you another great pumpkin recipe uh, on Saturday. So we look forward to seeing you then. And we love you guys. See you Saturday.